Hello and welcome to the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I appreciate that so much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this lovely vehicle behind me. And this is the 2022 Acura RDX A spec and looks very sexy. Look at those sexy black rims. Yeah, they're nice. Too much spoke though, but you know, that's the story for another time be a uh, pain in the ass to clean but anyway i can there's some changes here a little bit between the uh, 2021 model and the 2022 model so let's go ahead and do some compare and contrast and see what they have changed and what they have left to be the same one thing for sure that's going to be changed it's the price obviously it's going to cost a little bit more money but it's all good right now things are very very terrible when it comes to price because the dealership wants to give you that old you know arm and hammer yay <laughs> so let's go ahead and do my compare and contrast right okay so here we are first we're looking at the rims like i said it's definitely some noticeable changes a lot of changes this is going to be a pain in the ass to clean actually you know what even last year's model looks like it's a pain in the ass to clean Okay, so let's go ahead and I wonder if we can build this one. Yeah, let's build this one. So we're going to build, can we build the A spec? And so all this different packages, these are going to be available also for the, the 2022 model. As you can see, this is the A spec model. So let's go ahead and add this package so maybe like um expect to see some price increase on this so it's a $3,800 price increase for the a spec model so maybe i don't know 4200 it could be a $500 increase or a little bit more just depending on the package that you select so right now for the 2021 model it's about 3000 oops i don't Okay, so it's 3000 Oh, never mind. Because when you add the A-Spec package, it also adds a technology package, which is an additional 2900 So it's $5,900. So expect to see maybe like $500 price here or an additional three to $400 here. Or they can just go insane <laughs> and just charge you a $1,000 increase for the A-Spec model. But we won't know until the final price has been finalized because it has not been finalized yet. But to me, I definitely like the A-Spec so much better. Now, going for the front of the Acura RDX here, the lights seems to be the same. The grille design, a little bit different. Um, I dig this because it just seems flush and a little bit better comparing to the chrome on here but then again this is in the hold on you know what let me see if i can pull up a 2020 2021 a spec to compare it to compared to this one i think that's just the regular version of the acura rdx so give me one second okay so here we are so i was able to find this lovely vehicle right here so this is the a spec from last year's model um a spec package four door um sh all-wheel drive system so it's a good comparison for us to have here and yeah the front has definitely been changed but the remainder here is they actually got rid of these uh these inner lining of the grill it's definitely different and of course like this whole area has been completely redesigned so going from the grill and a little bit you know lower part of it has been completely redesigned the rims have been redesigned but this area right here it looks very very similar to last year's model um so is the side mirrors has also looks like it's very similar the roof is similar also looks like it comes with a black roof um so let's go ahead and obviously this whole area right here is completely redesigned uh, yeah but let's go to the sides and then we'll head over to the we'll go to the sides and we'll go to the to the back side of the vehicle as well too but definitely 
so much better looking than last year's model. I'll give them that. It's less busy because last year's model looks very, very busy in the front side. But I'm trying to find one that's a little bit better. So this is this looks like a similar interpretation of it. Now the lights seems to be very similar right here from just just this angle right here. All right, just this angle looks very similar to last year's model. And um, let me see if I can find a better picture of the rear of it. I mean, they're taking a lot of picture, but I feel like I can't get the one that I want. By the way, this is my first time actually um, going through all these pictures here. So let's see if I can close it. And then faster. Okay, maybe not. <clears throat> because I wanted to okay so this is the rear of it see I, I like this I like these designs no fake exhaust you know like most most cars or most car manufacturers they give you that fake um, additional trims over here to cover the the exhaust and it's fake and I'm just not a fan of it not a fan. It's a good thing that they kept the same thing. And also, uh, I believe this is a panoramic sunroof. Um, it looks nice, so expect the same thing from last year's model. The taillights looks to be the same. Exhaust, about the same. Um, even this area right here looks pretty much the same as last year's model. So the, the, the front has definitely been uplifted. The rear uh, remains about the same and the sides as well too. And I'm sure the interior has also been redesigned and added more features in the vehicle as well too, because we like new shit. We like more technology. Well, some people do, some people not so much. Not so much. So here's an interior. And of course they're going with the button. So there you go. Can you notice any difference here? It looks uh, similar to last year's. To be honest, it looks the same. Um, yeah, it looks it looks the same. So to me, this doesn't seem like a complete um, a complete redesign. It's more like a uh, like a facelift. Yeah, it seems like a facelift, but. You can agree or disagree with me, which is fine. You're allowed to have your own opinion. That's part of being human. We all don't have to agree on everything. We don't have to be hive minds. You know, everybody is different. We're all individuals with our own opinions and thoughts. So I would love to hear your thoughts. But so far, just looking from left to right. Hopefully you guys can see it good. Left to right. Pretty much the same well a little bit different like this seems to be maybe it's the angle of the picture that was taken because this seems like uh this photo right here seems like it was shot from a top down and then this one this one right here was shot from like a like a straight like me looking at you right now it seems like it was shot from that angle um but yeah, to me, to be honest, it, it does look very, very much the same. Same thing. Maybe with like subtle differences. And of course you're gonna have your different drive modes as well too. But yeah, like that's a good angle. It doesn't it does look very very, very similar. The same. Apple CarPlay, wireless, car charger. But yeah, man, other than that, it doesn't seem to be much of a drastic overhaul. It's not like the, um, the third generation Acura RDX saw Automaker give the model a complete redesign and a new platform for 2019 model year. Those, so, 2019 model year was the complete redesign and this is 2022 so this is just 
the um, mid mid gen cycle where they would give the car just a little bit of a of a uplift until the next overhaul which is usually Honda's usually does theirs every five years or so where they would completely overhaul the whole car and pretty much change everything which I like you know not a lot of automakers do those kind of things like Subaru fuck you Subaru because you don't seem to understand the concept of making amazing prototypes and then delivering a hot trash but that's just my opinion some people actually really like the new subaru but i digress i actually like the new honda civic hatchback despite what they have done with the powertrains it seems like they traded in the um yeah but anyway videos for another time I'm getting sidetracked again but anyway let me know what you think of this video i will leave a link in the description so you can go check out this article yourself if you want to know more um sorry i didn't go in depth into the article here i didn't read very much into it but from what they told me like uh the complete overhaul redesign was uh, 2019 so this is just the uh, mid-gen uh, refresh recycle or whatever you want to call it honda does that they did the same thing for the civic hatchback from uh, 2017 they had it and then it's when they initially released it and then in 2020 they did a mid-gen cycle and then for 2022 is a complete overhaul so this is what they do every five years or so but anyway enough for this video dragging on for long enough make sure to like and subscribe if you made it this far you are amazing you need to keep doing what you're doing and um yeah and if you haven't like and subscribe yet go ahead and do that i appreciate you guys all right i'm out of here